Hello, I'm Jack Murtha. This past election sent a historic message to the President and to the Congress. This great country needs to change course in Iraq. Let me get right to the point. Things are out of control in Iraq. The President's new plan for Iraq is more of the same plan that has not worked. All of us believe in a strong and ready military, but adding more U.S. troops in Iraq will not only make a bad situation worse, it will put more of our troops in harm's way. Our troops are caught in the middle of an Iraqi civil war that only the Iraqi people can solve themselves. The country needs a dramatic change of course in Iraq, and it's the responsibility of this Congress to consummate that change. We must develop a new plan, a plan that denies the escalation and then pursues a responsible plan for redeployment. Congress must act now to stop the U.S. military escalation in Iraq. The first step in the plan is to send a message to the President that this United States Congress, as representatives of the American people, say no to the escalation. The second step is to deny the President the ability to send more U.S. troops into Iraq and to insist instead on restoring our military readiness. For the past month, the subcommittee I chair has held over a dozen hearings. We have found that our military bases at home lack the necessary equipment and training and are rated as an unacceptable state of combat readiness. The surge will force the administration to send many of our troops back into Iraq with less than one year at home. And some troops already in Iraq will be extended in the excess of one year and stop losses will continue. This is the service to those who have served. This is a policy that weakens our military and threatens our military readiness. Finally, we must redeploy. We must redeploy in order to restore our military readiness and to restore our international reputation. Over the next several weeks, I'll be working with my colleagues to craft a new strategy for the responsible, phased redeployment of American forces from Iraq. I want you to join me by staying involved. You helped win this past election, and you can help Congress bring our troops home. Make no mistake about it. We support our troops, but we disagree with the President's failed Iraq policy. Our definition of support is to ensure that our troops have the proper equipment and training. Our definition of support ensures that our militaries provide a responsible rotation and development and deployment cycles. Our definition of support provides our military with a mission they can accomplish. So what can you do? Write a letter, make a phone call, and send an email to your representative in Congress. Sign petitions, attend and participate in town hall meetings, visit your elected officials. Next week, members of Congress are going home. Rally your friends, visit your representative's office, tell them you support our troops, tell them you want a responsible phased redeployment of American forces from Iraq. Tell them you will not back down until we change direction in Iraq. The time to act is now. There's no room for indecisiveness. We can work together. We can get this done. We can bring our troops home and begin to restore our worldwide credibility.